I thought I'd take a few minutes to discuss with you emotional intelligence and in particular effective communication which has at its core emotional intelligence. Um, as lawyers and the legal profession so much weight is put upon um, skills, legal skills, knowledge, um, advocacy, how you present, all of those kind of things but in my view there's very little weight or importance placed upon the human skills and how we deal with each other and um, the soft skills which I think are just as important in achieving success as uh, what are the um, more technical skills. So how can effective communication benefit us? Well I think there's a number of ways, quite a number of ways, but I'll just discuss with you a couple. Um, one of them is that without effective communication we're not going to be able to either maintain, start or maintain uh, professional relationships. Effective communication is really the lifeblood of any um, meaningful long-term relationship. It also promotes teamwork. I believe that the relationship that I have with my solicitors is one where I foster teamwork. I feel like we um, are part of a team, both having different roles, but both trying to achieve uh, the same outcome, which is the best um, result for the client. To be able to create teamwork, effective communication is vital. So what it does is it, it shows um, that the solicitor or myself have the ability to be able to, um, to have open, candid conversations, to be able to manage expectations, to be able to say if something um, that is happening or has happened is not to the standard that a person likes, whether that be the barrister or the solicitor, um, where the client's expectations are being managed, what the client would like, all kinds of things that arise in a barrister solicitor relationship um, for that to be a teamwork relationship does require um, open, honest, candid, authentic communication for that to be effective. What it does too is and it allows and encourages a, an environment for people to be able to speak um, openly and candidly and authentically as I said prior and that really encompasses um, speaking assertively with one another too and having assertive communication skills as part of the way that we communicate with others that we deal with on a daily basis or even if we don't deal with on a, on a daily basis the people that come into our, uh, our work life uh, whether they be barristers, colleagues, opponents etc. It also promotes uh, trust because when we effectively communicate we're transparent and with transparency comes trust. Trust comes after a period of time, it does, trust is not built um, over a week it takes time to, to build but um, for example I'll give you a very um, small example in the way that you deal with or we all deal with um, email communications we're all busy we get hundreds of them every day but do we um, not um, recognize them or answer them within two three four weeks or just don't don't even respond to them well if we do that are we building trust are we um, saying to say for example you sent me an email I didn't respond or I didn't do, do so for weeks would you think that I was trustworthy? Well probably not and you'd have every right to think that. So how we deal with even basic things like emails are we thinking about not only our own emotions yes we're busy but also thinking about other people's emotions and um, recognizing that human beings need to be recognized and they need um, not to be ignored um, as Part of their basic human makeup. Um, so having that emotional intelligence will also help us to deal with uh, communications, all kinds of communications in a way that will not only be best for us but also best for other people that we're dealing with and that will foster um, better relationships going forward. So emotional intelligence in my view is something that really needs to have some light shone on it, some um, weight placed upon it because in my view it is something that will go towards uh, your success as much as your abilities as a legal practitioner. Your ability to deal with humans in an effective manner um, will really make you stand out as being someone quite different from, from the ordinary. And we all want job satisfaction, we all want to have meaningful, uh, long-lasting 
relationships with those that we work with and by having emotional intelligence we're going a long way towards um, assisting those relationships to to be maintained in, in, and uh, progressing in a, in a really healthy manner that's beneficial to each party of that relationship. So it's a win-win for all.